<coughs> Ooh, hello, hello. Wow, that was quite the intro, huh? <laughs> I thought I was ready. Uh, well, hello, everybody. Hope you are having a good Wednesday afternoon. I had to rush and eat lunch because I spent too long playing video games. Oops. Who needs to eat and prepare when you've got video games? Hi, Toby. How you doing, Toby? Alright, well, today I'm slated by myself to to watercolor wildflowers. I want to do stuff that's native to, to my state, Minnesota. Uh, so I've got a couple books for reference and I've got my watercolor pad and I've got my paint set here, Regina's watercolors. And, uh, and I realized I hadn't shown off the froggy from Friday. So this is what I was working on at the end of the stream on Friday. I added the tassels, and I uh, remembered how much I dislike making tassels. One at a time is okay, but three in a row is... The quality is really starting to lack. <laughs> but, yeah. That was the outcome. So more of this on this Friday. But for now, we're watercoloring. And Toby is helping. Beverage. Alright. Toby. Okay. Gotta figure out where I want to start. Probably be good idea. Probably be a good idea to warm up with some sketching, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to get straight to it this time. So, do I use the book or do I just use one of these that are out here? Let's start small. How about that. But I do have a couple of things queued up work on at some point and then I just have circles drawn <laughs> but yeah these are cats that were at the shelter at one point and they've been adopted since but uh, for now I'm gonna start a little smaller I'm going to Begin with one of my favorites. Um, that would be Columbine or Aquilegia. So I'm gonna see if I can find good reference for that one. Oh, excuse me, I bumped the microphone. Okay. Aquilegia. Yes, I can use the alphabet. Okay, that is probably under Columbine. If it's in here. Which I think it would be. Colonies? Columbine. Red. There it is. It's alright. Good view of the flower. Not a great view of the leaves. So, let's see if I can find another, another view of it in a different book. Do, do, do. Not in here. I'm going to have to actually read this book at some point and not just, uh, look at the pretty colors. <laughs> so, this one's for technique. 
Oops. Uh, da -da -da. This one's probably not going to have the leaves in it, but it's worth a look anyways. No, and under Aquilegia. No. Okay. Last chance. Aquilegia canadensis. Lots of pages. Okay. 23. Uh, okay, this is just listing it. 39. 45, 47. Okay, it's in a lot of lists. 50, 51. Okay, tiny flower, picture, 59, 60, 80. Another list. Teeny tiny back here, and not a good picture either. All right. Hello, 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 Spike. I have to like weave around my mic stand to figure out what the heck that face is, and I still can't tell. <laughs> Some kind of like cat dude with hair that's smiling. Okay, I will use the internet if I need to. To do the leaves. I have a fairly good memory of what they actually are, but uh, but I might want to use it just in case to check. You don't know. Uh, it's supposed to be a dog. Okay, very humanoid dog, but you know. Toby's sitting on the floor, like, just staring into space. What do I do now? I don't know. I don't know what to do with my life. Okay, let's use let's pick, I'm using a color erase, color erase Prismacolor in pink. Uh, essentially, it's a colored pencil that you can erase. Uh, I like them for watercolors because graphite will smudge a lot with watercolors, depending on how soft the lead is. I don't really like working with hard lead because I it doesn't erase as well. And I like to erase, <laughs> you know. I'm rarely a one-stroke uh, artiste. You have a limited selection of icons. Yeah, I don't know if I can put any in right now, or if I have to wait to become affiliate to put some in. Either you get to do it at affiliate, or you unlock more slots. So I'll have to look into that, and if I can do it now, I'll... I'll put in some kitty cat ones. And then I'll know what they are because I'll have made them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now the question is, do I do a single flower or do I do like... Oh, I know. I'm going to do a border. That'll be something. And then I'll just have to think of something to put in the middle. <laughs> or maybe I'll work my way in. We'll see. Okay, do I have... I have lots of rulers in here, do I? I don't know how I want this thing to be set up. I've kind of crowded myself in here. Okay, we're not working with paints yet. Put those aside. So I won't need the ruler when I've got the paints going. I found coconuts in Stardew Spike. I just went to an ocean planet and they were immediately on the islands there. 
So I just need the the one that you get from the flesh caves, that fruit, and then I'll have all of the uh, I'll have all of the what do you call them? All of the recipes done in Starbound. So that's nice. Caught a few more bugs, more critters. I went to a volcano planet. Those are cool. Crops, yeah. Well, I'm not collecting the crops so much as I'm collecting the recipes, I guess. But whatever. Do, 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 do. Okay, one thing that's neat about Columbine is it's got this like droop. I have no idea how well this is going to show on camera. Probably not very. Hmm. Can I move these so they're less. Showing less of my hand shadows. Sorry for the wibble wobble, everybody. Did that actually rotate the camera or is it me? I guess it's probably me. Okay. Well, Columbine have a, like, a drop before the flower. And also, it's just a really different structure. So, um... If you're looking at the flower from the bottom, you'll see five yellow petals like this, you'll see all of the um, the reproductive parts in the middle, and then you'll see these, you'll see the pink uh, 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 lanceolate. <laughs> uh, you'll see the pink pointier flowers there. So that's what it looks like from the bottom. Uh, but from the side, it's like this. Uh, I wasn't watching, but the camera doesn't look rotated. That's good. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So, I don't recall any other flowers that have this kind of a structure exactly. Dutchman breeches are kind of, kind of similar. They're probably in here somewhere. Page 18. So these ones of a similar type, um, but I don't know. I think they look cool. I had one in a uh, like a purple color before, um, but it didn't make it past a few seasons, and that was not um, natural color, but a. A cultivar, they call it. It, uh, it was bred to be that way by people, you know? Okay. You know, maybe I'll just stick to red. It has a slight... No, you can't see either. <laughs> Go back to pink then. I really gotta start sketching things out before I get on stream, so... You guys can see what's... Uh actually going to happen. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Oops. Confusing myself with these lines here.
Mm. Nope. I'm concentrating so I've stopped talking. See, for anybody who caught uh, yesterday's stream, last afternoon, uh, I worked on the desk mat quite a bit last night. And there's a kitty on the counter. Shoot. Um, I still have a lot of work to do on it, but, uh, but I think it's looking really good. I'm excited to, to finish that one. Okay. Oh, oh, I broke the lid. So sad. Okay, maybe I'll do this in steps instead of sketching it all out at once. And that way you guys will actually be able to see some of the stuff that's going on. Are you happy now, Toby? Did you get a treat of whatever it is that was on the counter or in the sink? Hmm. <laughs> They uh, huff. Okay, I'm also working quite small. Hmm. I should really know how to zoom in. Oh wait, I have a zoomed in version, don't I? Do -do -do. See how this looks. Okay. Yeah. We'll be zoomed in a bit today. We won't get all of the aesthetics of everything, but at least you'll be able to see what's going on. <laughs> I'm working very small again. Why do I keep doing this to myself? I may have to get up and get a smaller brush. All right. I didn't ask you how you were doing, Spike. How are you doing? This is, of course, only if you are able to answer right now. If you're busy, that's understandable. Hi, Toby. You're tired. You bought a mocha, so you're doing a bit better making boring cables. Mm -hmm. Sorry that you needed to buy a mocha, but I'm glad you're doing a little better, I guess. <laughs> Just walk all over my stuff. I get it. I see how it is. You do like mochas, that's true. Do you like the ones you make at home better, though?
Usually this morning's mocha tasted eh, not sure why. Hmm. Something is clicky clacking in the house and I don't know what it is. Like the, against the window or something. Maybe I should tape this one down, but I've already eliminated the possibility of a nice border, so I kind of don't feel like it's worth it at this point. I kind of don't like to tape things down while I'm still sketching. So we'll just to see how horribly warped this gets. another one to sketch while the stuff is drying. Should I do prairie smoke? I really like it. Black-Eyed Susan, since it's a little easier to handle, and uh, I don't know, it's right there. So Black-Eyed Susan, or Rudbeckia, looks kind of like a daisy, but it's yellow with a dark brown center. It's a little bit more, slightly more dome shaped versus flat center. And with all of these kinds of flowers, like daisies and sunflowers and things, the, uh, the reproductive flowers are in the middle and these are called ray flowers. Um, they're just for attracting pollinators. So that's why in a sunflower, all of the seeds are in the middle because the, uh, the ovules develop into uh, fruits. And fruits can take, you know, botanically can be many different things. So they can be seeds or fleshy fruits like we think of, or nuts, lots of stuff. Here's your Floriculture of the day that you didn't ask for. Toby's in the basket that I wanted him to be in yesterday. But no, he decides he's going to sit in it today. It is in a different spot. But we don't got room for him on camera today. Mm 
doing this reversed from the image that I have because you can't just <laughs> flip images in books. I suppose I could take a picture of it with my phone and then reverse it, but whatever. We're not looking for perfection here. And by we, I mean me. If you're looking for perfection, you're in the wrong video. Okay, I'm not showing the appropriate length of these petals, I think. Because if these ones are foreshortened, then the ones behind should not be as short. This is going to be the issue of uh, going back and forth, is that I have to find where my previous example was. Make sure I'm getting the colors appropriately. That's actually pretty spot on. So that's handy. Maybe just a teeny bit more orange would be good. Teeny, I mean, not that much. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Oh man, I thought about opening the windows today, but I remembered a little late. It's getting pretty warm out, so I think it's better that I didn't, but I'm starting to hear a lot of outdoor noises. Like, the neighbors are working on their yard, and some trucks are backing up, and somebody's got a generator going, and I'm like, okay, it's probably a very good thing I did not open the windows then. We're lucky to have central air, but fresh air is also nice. Oh, this song. I hate this song. Oh, my phone is not. Okay, I mean that worked, but my phone is not telling me the right uh, song, so whatever. <laughs> Better not to get these lines in here. Thank you. 
Oh man, it's lonely without people chatting. Yesterday was so nice. I get it, you guys are busy. I just need to think of things to talk about. I can think of questions to ask, but... Um... I mean, people who are lurking usually don't want to actually... Uh, answer questions. So it's like, well, maybe something else. Hi, Sake! I'm lurking while cleaning and trying to find our toolbox. We think maintenance might have accidentally taken it when they were here. <gasps> That's bad. I feel like no, since it was covered in red paint and cat paw prints. God, I hope not. I hope you find it. That's... Tools don't have to be, but they're generally pretty expensive. So if people are taking that, that's... I don't know. Scary, I guess? It's... Hmm. Strong feelings. I can't find words for my strong feelings. I appreciate you, Sake. I hope you find it. Yeah, we had some random screwdrivers and missed stuff in the box. Nothing expensive to replace, apart from a small hand drill that worked really well. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like it must have put it somewhere out of the way, but all our other tools are somewhere where the toolbox was, so I don't know. I D K E K. I don't even know what I might have done. What I might have done, since we didn't put the H there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like you have a lot of places to look either. I did get it. I got I got I don't even know. You know, one out of fifteen is pretty good. I'm not. I'm not that old. I'm not that. Uh, oh, tell me what these acronyms mean. I don't. I don't even know what they mean. Boomer carry. Mm -hmm. Cats took it for secret maintenance. <laughs> they just want to do secret elf helping when you're when you're sleeping. It's not elves, it's kitty cats. Let's see, so you said you were cleaning and looking for it, but why why are you looking for it? You got something that needs, that needs fixing? I don't Looks like it's probably a Neko Koneko and Mickey Mouse hands. So, kitty cats doing maintenance, I guess? Oh, I'm bad at interpreting this stuff. Also, my eyeballs are so bad. I need to get... LOL, yes, that's all I have for it. Okay, I got it. I need to get one of those, like... Um, like magnifying things that elderly people have for their books, and just put it on top of my computer screen over the uh, over the chat, so I can see what the heck's going on. <laughs> what the heck's going on over here? I want to take down a shelving unit that's rusty so you can throw it away. 
I did some wall repair where we had shelving things before so we can get maintenance to come back out and replace the ceiling light which is starting to look starting to rust like crazy it's like wall mounted three light thingy hmm why is your stuff so rusty like did something happen in the building that's making everything you don't know okay <laughs> But it's not an observation that only I had, it seems like. Well, I'm sorry that that situation is happening. It sounds... Frustrating in the like, this is taking a long time to get fixed for not a lot of good reason kind of situation. I have no idea. I was thinking, dang, this shelf is hella cheap, so that's probably why, but the light fixture is also now rusty, rusty, and the screws and some stuff, and it's like shedding rusty bits onto the floor and sink. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. That's no good. That's no good. I need to put my hair back up. I don't know if my hair is any better now, but it is different. Let's see, I'm presuming it's just due to humidity, I don't know. The appliances and stuff here are very old and were pretty danged up when we moved in. Dinged up? Danged up? I'm not sure. William takes two very long showers, baths a day, and then I shower too, so yeah, I, I guess. Probably depends on how much... Uh, Airflow gets around in the apartment, too. Chilling fan doesn't work in there and hasn't since we moved in. Oh! Hmm. Yeah, that probably isn't helping. <laughs> oh man. Growing up, the ceiling fan in our bathroom didn't work. Um, and my dad didn't replace it. Until, basically until I moved out. Um, but, uh, when I moved in here, I thought that something was up with the water because I became very itchy out of the shower all of a sudden. Like every time. See, the company who owns our complex change in the new one is way better at responding to maintenance requests. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, it took a little while and, um... Oh no. I just smudged it. I thought that was dry. Oh no. <laughs> um yeah and eventually the doctor was like oh you have this thing where if your skin has too quick of a temperature change you break out in hives and by you i mean me so uh yeah now i just put on lotion before i expose myself to the fanned bathroom air and uh and that helps a lot 
but yeah it's like okay that makes a lot of sense for other times in my life as well like in winter when it's so cold out and then i go inside and i'm all layered up so it's so hot and everything so that's a thing <laughs> I think they called it urticaria, but don't quote me on that. So, it's a lot better now that I know what the heck's going on. And this way I get to actually use up my lotion because I've been gifted it for so many years of my life that it's like, I don't use that much lotion, but when you're sloshing it on, uh, then, then it goes through pretty fast. Yeah, rash of welts. I still have like itchy spots every now and again. Maybe you guys don't want to look at my gross skin. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty normal. And it's not that irritating usually. Do you want to talk about gross, irritating skin stuff? You can talk about warts. Planter's warts. I had plenty of those in my lifetime. Knock on wood, I guess, for not getting any anytime soon. Not a fan of those. Um, I guess people of my heritage are supposed to be more susceptible to it. And... Um, and i used to swim constantly as a child in pools and in lakes and stuff so it was not surprising that i got it a lot Let's see i really need no lotion new lotions that have like benadryl or antihistamine or something in them for dermat dermatographia that's right it's also like a rash and it's itchy it just comes from contact with stuff Ugh. pressure will do it like drying my arms out of the shower oh yeah yeah you see, yeah i had I had a planter's wart for like five years, I think. Most recently, it was the longest one I've ever had. Luckily, it's been gone for a number of years now, but it took a lot. I went to like the a dermatologist specifically for like two years. And eventually what got it was like crushed up beetle that they injected into the skin. So <laughs> lots of freezing, lots of, um, other stuff yeah yeah it was it was the worst i've ever had but it was still only like how do i make a shape in my paint still only ever like that big from the like the effects of the stuff that was going on with it um i've seen pictures on the internet of people whose planter warts have gotten way out of control so there's nothing that bad <laughs> And that's great. And I had health insurance, so that was... Uh, it was a lot of co-pays, but still. Um, yeah, so... I learned that having cracked skin is, like, the best way for planter's warts to get in. And it can happen on your feet and your elbows and stuff pretty easily. So, I don't walk around outside barefoot all the time anymore. <laughs> as much as I really liked it, uh, no thanks. Also, we have, uh, no, you should not have looked it up, Sake, no! Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't. You used to do it all the time when you were living in Missouri. You can't now, but I miss it. I almost said Montana. You didn't live in Montana. Yeah, I I would still do it in our backyard, but we have spruce trees, which I never had growing up, and the needles are sharp as heck. So without any callus on my feet, I can't walk around, and uh, I don't want to build up the callus because of the word situation. The end. <laughs> I hope everybody's not super grossed out. I could talk about earwax. I was talking about that with Spike the other day. I'm not usually grossed out by this kind of stuff, so if you guys dislike it, sorry. 
yeah, you're welcome, Lurkers. <laughs> um, bodily stuff that goes on. I could be talking about grosser stuff. But yeah, I was reading up about um, wet versus dry earwax and how that's connected to like a single allele, which is really unusual for humans to have one thing, to have something be uh, determined by one single allele on a gene. Um, and there's like links to it being connected with the body odor, um, specifically like one kind of sweat gland versus another, and uh, potentially a connection to breast cancer. But uh, I have wet and dry earwax, like most people do apparently, and I sure have body odor. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, we're lucky this is not a smell of smellogram, smellovision situation because I put on deodorant, I do my best, I shower, I just also sweat a lot. <laughs> but yeah, earwax is interesting, and I've had my fair share of whatever's with that. If it's any consideration, your house and you always smell good, as weird as that statement is. I appreciate that I have not made you uncomfortable with my stench. <laughs> um, thank you for letting me know that I'm doing an okay job. I'm like of two minds in the situation. It's like, well, I don't want to have to wear deodorant and cover up my smell and everything. Because... Uh, I can't smell it that much. Um, at least not like my armpit stench. Um, but also, I don't want to make other people uncomfortable if I smell bad, and I don't like smelling things that I don't like to smell. So, I can smell? That's basically the same, right? Okay, is that a genetic thing, or did you mess something up? <laughs> Jump. Because you've not not messed up other things before. <laughs> I didn't know you couldn't smell. Your family just plays the roulette, huh? The uh, hearing, sight, smell. can't smell foods ah oh, omg i don't know i just can't smell unless it's real strong it definitely helped a lot with working at the cat shelter yeah i suppose um i don't know i don't think the shelter's that bad usually it depends on if like a cat's feeling all right or has stomach issues or just lays stinkers um Is your taste affected by it, though? You can't taste food. Okay. But I generally can't smell it beforehand. Interesting. Weird. They're so, uh, heavily linked, usually, that that's... That's really interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I said the roulette thing. Uh, for those viewers who are not, Jump. <laughs> um, Jump is essentially my brother-in-law, though I'm not married to his brother. Uh, so, I know the ins and outs of his family. And, uh, and yeah, there's genetic hearing loss in there, and there's heart stuff with uh, my partner. Allergies to onions. You know, all your basics. When your mom be had allergies to a lot of stuff at one point. Food allergies. 
which I guess is normal to happen in your uh, middle age. I think onions is easier than... Okay. Personally, I think onions is easier than cinnamon because I like sweets. But yeah, uh, Dylan's... Dylan's, Dylan's. Dylan uh, and Jump's grandpa is allergic to onions, so we have to be sure not to put stuff in there for that. I just can't handle the texture of onions. So when I make stuff, I get out the food processor. I don't know if I'm actually allergic to anything. Not anything severe anyways. Yeah. I have um, an allergy to something that's in sun suntan lotions. So I have to use um, ones that I figured out are okay. I haven't ever figured out the exact ingredient. But uh, it might have gotten better over the years as well. Or there might just be more companies out there making sunscreen. So I can use a few, a few different brands now. But yeah, Copper Tone is a no-go for me. I don't think I'm allergic to onion, just bloaty. <laughs> I know you're not allergic, Spike. Let's see. I might have some sensitivity to metals. I'm not sure. My sister definitely does. And my mom is allergic to lilacs. Which happened to be her favorite flower. So I would probably illegally take lilacs from the park as a child. And then I wanted to give them to her. And my daycare lady's like, um, sweetie. Which, surprising that she knew, I guess. But yeah. She's not so allergic that she can't like be in a space with them. But like being in an in like being outside, being in an enclosed space would probably be different. Let's see. Cinnamon allergy is fading as I get older. I don't actively eat it, but when I've had it in stuff on accident more recently, it's like tummy cramps and, and etc. instead of like rash hive death. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we keep lilacs in our yard. Mwahaha. And Saki says forbidden flowers. I don't know if lilacs are native. They must not be. They do well, though. Spike. I think we did joke about that when we moved here. But it's not that big of a deal. Is that a turkey with the with the with a face on it? What the heck? Jump. Also, I found out why my hearing is bad but never tested bad. I think I might have auditory processing disorder. Interesting. This is excluding the thing that's in your ear, <laughs> which may or may not affect your hearing. Auditory processing disorder. Interesting. You got it out. You did. Did you get it out with help or by yourself? Because by yourself sounds very scary. Yes, an airsoft pellet from working at a place that... No, you didn't do it by yourself. No, you didn't get help. Mm. Mm. You got to tell me whether it was no, you didn't have help or no, you did. You did it yourself. Okay. Like an otoscope. Yeah, I have a, a little camera thing that I used to clean my ears. Because of earwax things. Um, all right. I mean, I guess if you're doing it yourself, you are able to stop if it hurts. So it sounds like you didn't hurt yourself. So good job there. And it turns out it was not from work, but an airsoft gun bullet. Oh, interesting. I've never played airsoft.
you don't don't know how it got there I don't know practical jokes I don't, I don't know magic Thanks for chatting, guys. This is nice. It's an excuse not to clean. <laughs> yeah. I'll be your excuse anytime. I should clean too after stream, but I don't want to. We should at least do laundry. Probably be good enough day to still dry it outside, even though I haven't started yet. And it's not like laundry is hard, it just takes a little bit of time. Vacuuming is where it's like, eh, I don't want to vacuum. I don't want to pick up stuff. Why do I collect so much stuff? Why do I hoard things? The worst part is when you hoard stuff and you're like, yes, I finally have a use for this thing that I've been holding on to for so long. I, I don't know where it is. 80s all day, if you call correctly. Yeah, I gotta do the tile and grout on the floor in the bathroom and steam mop to sanitize. That sounds... bleh. Yeah. Same goal. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I just got some uh, salt and pepper shakers from a thrift store, a Christian thrift store. Um, because they look like like ampules for potions and stuff. I could run and grab one real quick, I guess. But uh, but oh boy, do they smell super heavily of um, elderly person perfume. I'll put it that way. And uh, washing them did not get it out, so I'm gonna have to soak them in something. Because <sighs> the smell did not go away. Everything else I bought there is totally fine, it's just those. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go grab one. Just because. Man, I made the mistake of smelling it on the way over. <laughs> yeah, so. Totally looks like magic potion stuff. Which I like to do. I like to have decorations like that. But yeah, it smells. I need to get this plastic piece out. Some other time, I guess. Or I could do it right now! Uh, whatever. Yeah. I thought so too. I just need them to not smell a lot. I 
I had to go out and look for a frame for the watercolor I did last week. And I did find one, but I got to do some stuff to it. Basically because there's something that's like properly sealed in there. Um, so I got to take that out. Hopefully it'll be quick to do. Yeah, I hope so. Hmm, I just realized that the music is showing up oddly. Why is that? I think everybody can see one of my playlists. <laughs> How did that happen? Spotify app needs to be- it's not full screen? It, uh, it was full screen. Maybe I somehow, uh, messed up the box between streams. Let me just try a different screen, see if it's the same there. Also, I totally forgot to, uh... to thank a couple people for following in between. Oh, oh, I did something on my computer instead of changing screens. Yeah, it's that I haven't used this screen yet for a long time, and uh, I just need to change it in between next time. Uh, da -da -da. Right, so thank you Donray2 for, for following in between screens, and thank you Retroactive Vex. Let me make sure I got that name right. I rated you yesterday, I should know it. <laughs> Yes, re retroactive Vex. Thank you both of you for following. Oh well, everybody will just have to see that I made a playlist for the times of the 80s. Time life of the 80s. Whatever. There were a set of CDs we had when I was a kid, and I wanted to show them to Spike. So I just made playlists of them on Spootifu. Now I'm out of breath cute yeah uh, they aren't that great so we're not like ever eager to go through them <laughs> so cute idea not the best execution i guess why is this thing blue Posca, please Also, pop the bubbles. <sighs> Included in that set, however, is the only Beach Boy song I like. Any guesses as to what it is?
I wonder if Spike even remembers. Because I've definitely told Spike before. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's Kokomo. <laughs> All the other ones sound exactly the same to me. I only say this because of the Muppets. Is it on the Muppets? Am I going crazy? It's definitely not in Muppets Christmas Carol. No, you're not wrong there because you too. Okay. Yeah. I really like the video of the... I can never remember what, what it's called. But, uh... Oh, let me look it up. Muppet Beach Party was an album where they did a bunch of songs, I think. I've never heard of that. I'll have to look at it. I like the Muppets a lot. At least, uh... Um... Historically. I don't... I'm not into the new stuff too much. I haven't, like, looked at it much. My boo boo foo is not okay right now. I get around. It's that song. I get around. But it's like people are not singing well at all, and it's like they're playing electric guitars with, with the amps off or something. I don't know a lot about electric guitars. Oh, somebody save me from this problem that I'm having. Uh, um. Shred. I think that's what it's called. Oh, there's an ad. Yeah. I get around. Town. All right, that's enough of that. Just look up Beach Boys Shred. I get around, and that's uh pretty funny. IMO. Let's see. I think before the start of Muppet Treasure Island, they played Kokomo from the album as an advert, but I really don't remember for sure. I just have them linked in my brain. Might have been. Brave Little Toaster or the Chipmunks Rescue movie with the dolls. Mm -hmm. I've seen Brave Little Toaster lots, but I haven't seen any... I don't remember seeing previews at the beginning of it. And I haven't seen the Chipmunks Rescue, Rescue movie at all. I haven't seen the Rangers either. I did see the new one. Which was... Interesting. Potentially worth a watch if you're, like, curious about things, but not, uh... I didn't love it or anything. Spike was very meh. Spike was more excited about it than I was. So that's probably why he's more let down. Excited is probably not the right word. Interested? Curious? Oh, Yeah. It, the, the reason for the curiosity was like talking about 2D versus 3D and like living in the past or trying to make yourself new for the present and stuff. I don't know. It was okay. 
I don't, neither of us had any like nostalgia for the rescue rangers, so that didn't do anything for us. Yeah, interested in the concept. Pardon me. All right, let's do another, another flower. I decided I want to do prairie smoke, so I'm gonna do that. Just gotta find the picture for it. There it is. Geum triflorum. So, it looks really cool. I like it a lot. You do have some nostalgia for the Rescue Rangers, but more for Tail... Oh, no. Sake has nostalgia. Sorry, I totally read that as Spike for some reason. So, Sake has some nostalgia for the Rescue Rangers, but even more for Tailspin. Yeah, I haven't seen either. Tailspin is the one with the ducks, like, um, I don't know if it's got Scrooge McDuck and the nephews, but it's got like that beefy pilot duck, question mark? <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe it's got like Baloo the bear or something. I, my memories of what little I've, I have uh, experienced of this stuff is so... Bears. Lots of bears. Okay. <laughs> I sort of connected to that in my brain. I just think of um, Fun and Fancy Free, which was a Disney thing at some point. And they've got uh, the story of Bongo. That's what I think of with Disney bears. But a bear likes to say it with the slap. Oh. interesting because it it does have Baloo. Okay. Louie and Shere Khan from the Jungle Book. But it also has a bunch of random other characters. And a younger bear character that's a stand-in for Mowgli. Kit. Hmm. I wonder why they chose those characters. Like, personally, I never thought Jungle Book was... It was never one of my favorites. Put it that way. Um, what were my favorites? That's a good question. Is there a specific era that I liked better? Hmm. Late 80s, early 90s, there was a run of Disney shows that featured various characters from existing media. Right, right, yeah. So it's not like it's a new thing that we're doing, everybody, to just reuse existing media. Uh, yeah, I never saw, like, any of those Disney shows. Well, okay, we never had cable, so Disney Channel was not a thing for us. Aladdin, Timba, and Pumbaa had a show. Quack Pack was another, and 
Like every group of animal characters had a show. What about... Wait, no. <laughs> well, no, okay, Lion King was 90s. So Pocahontas could have been an option there. Darkwing Duck, lots of ducks. I have heard of Darkwing Duck. Ducks. Ducks. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. What are they doing alone in the dark? Ducks. Ducks. Quack, quack. I can't get low enough for it. <laughs> the Timon and Pumbaa show had a character that was Speedy the Snail. Hmm. Not Speedy Gonzalez, that's the wrong property. That's Looney Tunes. And also, uh, not a great stereotype. I was always worried because they obviously eat bug snails in the movie, but the running theme was that they would never eat him. <laughs> I can totally picture that. Uh, one day, it just happens. Oops! Oh, this set is super nice for watercolors. Or er, for water. For wildflowers. This is a great watercolor set for wildflowers. This is what I used for Sake's Ophelia picture, which has eight different flowers. Eight or ten or twelve. Something. So many flowers, yes, you love. I'm so glad that you like it a lot. I had a lot of fun making it. We did a lot of it outside, so I have like memories associated with that with it. And uh I think it turned out really well. I was very happy with what happened to that. I used to keep that in here, but I must have moved it at some point. Probably figured it was going to get wrecked if I kept it in here. I don't think I gave you the original. I think I still have the original. I think. I do. Okay, good. I mean, if you really wanted it, I would, I'd give it to you, but, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I'm distracted. I need to say safe space for all the arts I have, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tough part. That's why I wanted to get a frame for the watercolor I'm giving to Spike Sister. So I don't want them to have to worry about it. They gotta... I don't know. He might be a year old now. They got a baby. So, it helps a lot, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, 
Oh, that's blue. That's not purple. Do 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 do. Sirens, they're coming to get you. Uh, we live pretty close to a fire department, so it could just be that. <laughs> Sake, I said they're coming to get you. This is your warning. They're after me for slacking on cleaning. Yep. That's the one. There's never any pictures of the leaves of prairie smoke. They're totally different. They're like kind of thin fern-like looking things. I can't ever find pictures of them when I'm looking up pictures of the flowers and stuff. Okay, let's get some blue in here. Let's find a blue flower. Do-do-do, panicled bluebells, light prairie grass, Virginia bluebells, spreading Jacob's ladder. Fay, Gloover Vane, Lobelia, Harbell. Harbell would probably be the easiest. Tiny Gentian, Greater Fringe Gentian. Mm. Mm. I don't want another of this sh like drooping bell shape. But none of the other ones are like jumping out at me. I guess I could do the panicled bluebells and just do them like here or something. Page 67. Do, 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 do. <laughs> have to like get it such a specific angle not to have the uh, glare. I can't decide what I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks terrible. Mm. Mm. These are surprisingly angular, like squared off um, lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
it's okay, but composition wise, it's lame. So I think I'm going to move them over into the corner. Also, I've pushed it so far up that you guys can't see because I forgot that it's zoomed in. them to overlap more so it looks like a more natural scene mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna lurk and clean love you you got this it's looking so cute so far thank you thank you so much for chatting for a while too good luck with your cleaning i hope you find your tools i hope your stuff gets repaired very soon Miss you. Thank you. Yeah, bye bye. For some reason I thought the stream was ending at 3 and I'm like, wow, I only have a half an hour left. Oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> that is not the case. Give me a snack. Brought some cottage cheese today for for snackies. Luckily, there's no kitties around to realize I'm eating it.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy, 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 my tummy, tummy, tummy. Alright, what other flowers should we do, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Snake Master might be cool. Or some violets. Trillium, maybe? I don't exactly want to do a lot of white ones. But a lot of them are white. Could be a good one to do. It's pretty simple. Nice pale pink that I haven't done yet. Oh, clocks. Maybe. Fringed Pacoon. It's very pretty. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Although we may confuse the hoary Pacoon and hairy Pacoon, we never mistake the frilly petals of Fringed Pacoon. <laughs> oh, well, here's Harry and Hori. Rhythospermum. Ah, uh, prairies. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time in the prairies of our state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This violet wood sorrel is really pretty. I think I was talking to Spike about um, clover versus oxalis the other day. Sorel is uh, the common name for oxalis. I couldn't remember what it was. So you may think of this as like the three-leaf clover, but clovers are... they have a totally different flower type. Heart-shaped leaflets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still a little wet. Primrose. This one I'm working on right now. Probably should put an orchid in here. Maybe not the showy lady slipper. Maybe a different one for a change. Iris is very pretty, but mm. the milkwort is cool. Maybe I'll try to do one of those. Never done that before. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the paint to dry. Do 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 do. I've got the prickly pear in here. And, uh, I'm not sure if this is the same as the prickly pear. Brittle prickly pear and plains prickly pear. Ball cactus. But they don't have pictures of flowers in here. Oh yeah, the compass plant. That one's cool. It, uh... Uh, comes from its large, deeply lobed leaves, which orient themselves north and south, 
so that the hot drying sun doesn't shine directly on the leaf surfaces. Yeah, so it's not the flower, but the leaves that uh, alternate orientation during the day. Castilea. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, here's one of the flowers. So those are very pretty. Maybe I'll try to fit one of those in here. Oh, yeah, Rattlesnake Master. Indigo is one of my favorites. Harder to, uh, I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to do the more complex flowers, you know? <laughs> At least not today. Aquatics. Peatlands. Bog Rosemary. That's very cute. That one. And it's shiny. Uh, da, 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 da. Fairy slipper orchid. That's pretty. Leather leaf. Are you done yet? Yes. Okay. <gasps> Sundew. I forgot we have a Dracera. So these are like the, um, the, oh my god, what are they called? Hmm. <laughs> They're carnivorous plants. I can't think of what the the one that everybody always knows about is called. Blight trap. So we have those that are native here. The itty bitty. Tussock cotton grass. Continue on with these panicled bluebells. And if you got any favorite flowers? I have some that I like better than others, but I couldn't... Like most things in my life, I don't have like a specific favorite. I don't have a go-to. I like columbine a lot because they're a very cool looking flower but also I've seen them in the wild quite a bit um, up at my grandma's place so they're special for that reason. I also like how airy they look. They're not a very dense plant. Also, I've seen a lot of uh, black-eyed Susans up at my grandma's place as well. Those are easy to pick out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lots of 
ferns up there as well. I like ferns a lot. Not that they are flowering plants. They are teridophytes. Spore. Uh, plants that have spores. There. Um, historically isn't the right word, but they are uh genetically older i guess they existed before flowering plants did we still exist today because it's not broken it still works <laughs> mm -mm. uh oh i just realized i'm scratching my foot in that spot that i did last week and it just started to heal up stop Stop! catching up on some or I caught some other streams yesterday after mine and uh, there's a lot of stuff for me to learn too bad I always want to play games instead of doing actual work oh I will improve it just may be slower than I would like that's how it goes Okay. Simplest flower. Worst looking flower. <laughs> Not my best. forgetting that I'm on the zoomed in cam and uh, keep scooting it off of screen. Just gotta work bigger in the future. Okay, let's put in a different flower. First one that I see that I remember that I wanted to do. This one. Milkwort. And now I'm scooting it off screen some more. <laughs> I just said. This one's gonna be a bit more uh, abstract, I guess. Partially because the picture is so small that I can't actually see entirely what's going on. I'm not familiar with it. into my stuff.
Oh no, I gotta sneeze. Uh oh. <coughs> Apologies. Ooh. Fix this color. Just trying out random stuff. We'll see how it goes. Okay, time to clean up the old palette here. I don't know how much people are bothered by things being perfectly straight or tilted or not. Apparently I have blue on my finger and that transferred onto the paper. Why? Oops. Get my clean water dirty, that's what I do. Okay, that is a very royal violet. Turning violet violet. Sometimes it goes really well, and sometimes I just have no idea what I'm doing. You know? That's pretty good, actually. It can be very difficult with pink. Because usually you don't add white with watercolors. Even now it's darker than I wanted it to be. Hopefully it'll lighten up when it's drying. You can tell that I've drawn these ones before and not these ones. Oh. At least I can tell.
this one makes me think of like a flaky crust where it's you know poofed up or whatever and then the edges are all just spread apart lightly I'm not good with words that's why I do this instead words are hard Concentrating hard. Lurking, but here. Hi, Ivan. Thanks for the lurk. Hope you're having a good day. Hope your migraine went away. Somehow, I almost put this in my canned beverage. It's inevitable. Put your brush in your drink. leafed violet right here viola lanceolata Thank you. 
Oh dear, it's not what I wanted to do with the brush. Found my flashcards from Woody and Herbaceous. Um, so notes on how to identify things. They're like all trees and shrubs though. No flowering plants here. They were all done very quickly as well. <laughs> Probably pretty evident, but it's not like, you know, the leaf is compound which means it's one leaf has a bunch of leaves on it or whatever and it's about the length of an arm so it's a hand flowers look like that buds are at the at like a y intersection trees are about 30 feet wide by 100 feet tall cones have prickles long needles three needled pine. So that'd be ponderosa pine. Cedar smell, fine leaflets, bark. Comes off eastern red cedar. Yeah. Cones are about the size of a finger. Digit. Oh, this is Fraser fir. It's got the, uh, did I not? Douglas fir. No, Fraser fir is the other one. I didn't draw out the little uh, mouse tails. There's a cute story that goes along. Uh, or there's a cute story for Douglas firs. Oh, that didn't work. So they're cones. They're fir cones, not pine cones. They're softer than, than pine cones are. Spruce cones are also softer. Um, but they have little tufts that come out like this. And so there's a story. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. There's a story about all of these mice living in a tree. And uh, I think it's something about them like taking advantage of the tree and not uh giving back enough or whatever eventually the cones snap shut and capture all of these mice so what you see is their feet and tail sticking out of the cones it's one of those cute scary stories <laughs> ginkgo ginkgo's obvious there's only one like it left I did well in the class, well enough, I guess. But I remember a specific test where, you know, we'd, we'd walk around campus and around the neighborhood. And um, the test would be, you know, like, okay, well, what's this one? And you'd write it down. Um, I remember seeing one of them, one of the trees, and I'm like, okay, all the leaves look like this, but this one leaf that I see looks slightly different. So you're trying to do a tricky one, and it's actually this one. You know, it's it's American linden and not little leaf linden or whatever. And you know, I got the test back and I'm like, it was it was little leaf linden because all of the leaves on the tree except for one looked like little leaf linden. 
Duh. <laughs> so that was a super like, what, what was I thinking moment? <laughs> Uh, sticks with me today. I still regret. But I still remember. I still remember what the, uh, which one's which. <sighs> Might be nice to make nicer ones of these, but at the same time, I'm never going to use them, so why bother? Let's see, so Douglas fur is the mouse one. I think Fraser fur is the one that feels like Lego trees. You don't see a lot of them around, uh, at least not around the cities. Maybe elsewhere. darker than I was expecting this to come out. I should do some more with the leaves of this. I already forgot the name of it. This one. Hmm. Looking a little plain and wiggly. Mm -hmm. Oh, cops are coming again. Sake, are you continuing to slack off? <laughs> If anyone's going to be picked up for slacking off, it's going to be me. Slacker. You're a slacker, McFly. Just like your old man. He was a slacker, too. <laughs> good movie, good movie. Although I don't think Sake likes it. Sake has particular tastes in films. He does not care for some of the group's favorites. Which is fine. <laughs> not everybody can like everything. Boop, 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 boop. There's another big one that Sake doesn't like that the group likes. The group. The Therp group, I guess. The role-playing group that has evolved into six of us that don't role-play very much anymore. Um... I can't think of what it is, though. Back to the future. And... Something. Mm 
Spike, if you're available, do you remember what film or films the group references all the time that Sakai doesn't care for? Something silly. It's because Sakai's humor style is different than... I mean, a lot of it overlaps, but it doesn't overlap on this specific part. So something goofy. And you can't say the that's a lot of nuts one because that one is very grown worthy for me. <laughs> that's a lot of nuts. Kung Fu something. Something Kung Fu. I don't know. Hmm, 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 hmm. What interesting topics I have. Why, thank you. I don't know how to talk. Okay. Kitties, this is your time to come in and save me. Save me from myself. Trying to think if I have a pen I can use for this color. Well, if I do, it's not handy. <laughs> Just have to risk it. Risk it like a biscuit. It's not like this is for anything specific. Just the video and practicing, I guess. We won't even post it to Instagram. After doing a lot of digital stuff, I feel like anything I do that's traditional isn't like clean enough, I guess. Or, um, I can't image it in a way that shows off. It shows it off as well as uh, the digital stuff I have. So I don't, I don't like posting that stuff to Instagram right now. Well, that looks like a mess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, I'm not great at creating a lot of depth with watercolor yet. Um, it helps if I have a very focused piece like last last time with the kitty, then I can just build up over time. But with stuff like this, it's just like I don't I don't know. I feel like I'm done with this flower. I don't want to work on it anymore. It also helps if I'm working for something specific like like a commission or a gift if I'm just doing it just because and there's no like motivation to make sure that it's done really well if that makes any sense Mm-hmm. <sighs> 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 
I had to, uh... I've also worked so long with outlining everything. Like, I didn't start coloring my stuff for quite a long time. Uh, so, digitally it's a lot easier for me to work around not lining everything. Um, it's still a challenge, but I think I do a better job that way. I'm practicing. Slipper looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Weed. see how this goes okay try to do the prickly pear behind prairie smoke here just want to have one of the um what are they called the uh yeah, whatever they're called on succulents and cacti, this the piece. I went to school for this, I can't remember anything. <laughs> it's a modified leaf. Or stem. One of those. Oh god, I don't remember anything. Uh, I have that coming up over here. To fill in this space. I'm going to have a smaller one coming up here with the flower. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Oh man, so Spike and I watched Amphibia last night, as is our won't you do lately. I asked if we could, Spike said yes, and uh, normally I'm pretty good about not working on something while watching Amphibia. But I was so caught up in the desk mat that I was working on. The celestial one that I started on stream yesterday that I couldn't stop. And so I'm like only half consumed amphibia and now I feel kind of bad about it. But I got a lot of good work done too. So it's, it's a trade-off, I guess. I've done multitasking with drawing or homework in front of the TV for so much of my life that it's it's a difficult uh, habit to break. It's hard to pay full attention to to stuff on the TV now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. 
Here is my brush. Hiding it. No, I'm not sure what I want to do after stream. I guess I've got to cook something for Spike today. I didn't yesterday, and I have the meat thawed out. Hmm. Part of me is like, rebel against the domestic stereotypes. And then part of me is like, Spike's the one earning money right now. It's the least you can do to cook for, <laughs> for him. I'm not earning that sweet, sweet quiche. Then I can make up for some of the stuff around the house. Ooh, Spike's bringing home eggs today. Yes. Get farm, I guess you call them farm fresh eggs. Eggs from Spike's co-worker who raises chickens. So they're really tasty. Cool, yeah. Hello. How are you doing, hon? You want to come up here? You want to say hi to all the people? So no, I want to be fed. What do you think? What do you think I want? Well... She's still got two hours before it's feeding time, so. Would you knock over, hon? Knocked over the basket. That's quite understandable. Come here. Come on. Oh, come on. Hey, sweetie girl. Can I get you to look up at the camera? Hmm? Up here? Not very well. Uh oh. What happened? I think she stuck her paw on one of my paints and flipped it across the, the table. <laughs> Love you, sweetheart. Ah. <sighs> Set the basket back up for you. Oh, hi, Toby. How about you? Are you gonna come up? <laughs> now I've got cat hair. Peace. Song has been very repetitive so far. How much longer will it go on? I don't know what is going on with my phone, Spotify. I 
I've had to restart it and restart my phone before to get things to work properly. Like, on different occasions. I'll be playing a podcast at, like, the shelter. And then people will start talking to me and I'll pause it, but it won't pause. And then I'm like, pause, 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 pause. Not doing anything. So I have to, like, not just take the earbud out, but, like, set it somewhere. It's still going, you know? I get back to it minutes later, and it's still going. So I have to, like, sometimes closing the app will work. Sometimes it won't do anything. And, uh... And restarting my phone is a pain in the butt. It's a fairly new phone, so I couldn't figure out how to do it for a little bit. It was, it's not the same as my old phone. And then Bixby wanted my attention. I'm like, I don't want to do anything with Bixby. Uh, and now it's uh, it's letting me control the Spotify on my desktop, which is normal, and it's like working. But it continues to say it's this one song that it's not. And the image that it displays will change, but it's still not the right image. So I don't know what's going on with it. Hi, kitties. Oh, aren't you guys sweet? Oh no, the sun's coming in. We still got a half an hour left. Oh man, can't reach this very well. Come here. Clonk. There. A little darker, but no glare. I'm very good at tainting my light colors. <laughs> I'm not a particularly careful painter, I guess.
Toby's on the hammock next to me. It's being a sweet, good little kitty. For now. <laughs> the Columbine is all by itself over here. Oh. I wonder if I can clean up these edges. A little. Carried away there, apparently. And now... Oh boy. Oh, hi, kitten. Yep, put your foot right on the spot I'm working on. Hmm.
Johan, is it time for a little break, huh? Is it what's happening? You're purring very quietly. You roll over like you want me to scratch your tummy, but you don't want it. You got a kick. You're so close to being like in the camera, hon. This is where the real magic happens. How do you always have so much lint in your nose, huh? yellow. Maybe I can fix that with Posca's later. Ugh. He snuffles the heffalumps and woozles. I guess so. I clean out his nose like every other morning. Well, we gently do it. But yeah, he's like always got lint just on in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Let's see how are your toesies doing here? Not bad. Okay. Well, what is it? Do you don't want me to touch your feet, but then you. Get at me when when I'm not touching your feet. Ah, nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay, it's getting a little hard now. <laughs> the bubbles getting awfully close to falling inside your ear. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting up now. Racer shavings all over your fur now. Hmm. Put you in my lap. Will you like that? Hmm? No. <laughs> no. I've got to be in the way. Uh oh. He found the cottage cheese. Heather's lint in it somehow. It was all ploy to get to that cottage cheese. Okay. Now I'm looking at this one, the Rattlesnake Master. I think I might just go in with green and then do white highlights with a with a gel pen afterwards. I'm working a little too small to try to do it, you know, particularly carefully. It's my cottage cheese. It's not for you. of not uh, taping it down so I can shake the cat hair off. Uh... Oh, gosh, excuse me.
you doing, hon? Thank you. Just waiting for that stuff to dry. I'm going to use the last couple of minutes to uh, 
show you all what I got done last night. I have to remember to post to Instagram tonight because I didn't do that before the stream. I forgot. Okay, so I need to get to the spot I want to get to on tablet. I have to open up the program on my computer. on the cat as I take my three steps back over here. Then I hit the buttons there so you guys can see. So yeah, that's uh, that's what changed. If you guys didn't see it yesterday, this is what I was working on. I, uh, I don't have my stylus, apparently. Okay, well, I didn't have the border filled in. I didn't have the constellations or their symbols put in. I had just a couple of them. I made them all pretty large and then I shrank them down. Um, I think I had most everything else in there. Get some cleaning up and things. A lot of, uh, wondering about stuff. I think I added more bips and bobs around the large circle in the middle. And yeah. Hi Spike. Yep, so I'm gonna keep working on that. And uh... I'm gonna call this stream done now. Didn't accomplish too much here, but Got some good practice in. That's always nice. And uh, I'll be back on Friday working on some more little banners. I'm going to do a penguin one to start with. Alright, let's... Uh... Get this to the right screen here. Is this going to work? This works. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, I think I'm not going to raid anybody today. I'm just going to call it quits. So thank you for showing up. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in. Lurker, lurkers and non-lurkers. Um, I appreciate it so much. I'll be back on Friday. Have a good evening. <laughs>